Hey girl, are your healthy habits all over the place or non-existent? Do you wish you could find true food freedom, move your body for joy, and really just talk a little nicer to yourself? If you have tried to have it hack your health, but the strategies you've tried just haven't worked for you in your busy lifestyle, then this podcast is for you. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, behavior change specialist, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about our health and our habits. How do I know? Well, because I've transformed my own life through habit hacking and now my family gets the best of me and I now help my clients do the same. I'm now going to teach you how to create healthy habits and less time guilt-free for all seasons of your life. It's not your fault your habits haven't worked, my friend. We just have to do them differently. So are you ready to feel empowered and transform your habits and life? Then let's do this. Hey gang, welcome to Habit Hack Thursday. I am so pumped to chat with you today about one of my favorite fundamental needs, movement, and how to save money on your workouts, okay? I'm gonna share eight habit hacks with you today, but first let's talk about why we're talking about this, okay? So let's start from the beginning. Now, movement, in my opinion, is one of the highest forms of self-care and a habit that will serve you in so many ways. It's physical, it's mental, it's emotional, it's even spiritual sometimes, right? However, when we're doing any type of new habit hack, and especially working out or movement, as I like to call it, we have to think of all of the barriers that could be holding us back from actually working out. So in my Movement Habits Accelerator, you know, we that is a, one of the areas we have it hacked together. We use a habit loop. We use a lot of different strategies around atomic habits for women. But in addition to losing the diet culture mentality, making your workout sustainable, making the time, making them convenient, One of the aspects of that are the barriers from holding, that are holding you back from working out. And one of those might be cost, right? You know, I coach at Orange Theory. I go to Hot Works. Those are, those can be expensive places, especially the boutique fitness places, because you're paying for a very high quality workout, high level of customer service, very experienced coaches, if I do say so (laughs) myself. So that that might be intimidating or not attainable for you right now, depending on your budget. I know a lot of folks are talking about how expensive things are right now. I know last week we talked about eating out and the anxiety with that, not only with our own food freedom, but costs associated with that as well. So I wanted to dig deeper into how we can habit hack movement into our lives without cost being a barrier for you. We want to eliminate all barriers and make movement as easy as possible to have it hack in your life. Okay, friends, let's be real here for a second, okay? There are so many energy drinks out there that are only focused on giving you the jitters before a workout. And I don't know about you, but I hate that feeling. Well, not Fit Aid Energy. Fit Aid is boosted with 200 milligrams of clean caffeine from green tea, never the synthetic kind, so you never get that jittery feeling. And plus, it's only 15 calories per can. What I love is that they're not claiming that their energy drink will help you to burn fat or make empty promises. You put in the hard work and Fit Aid will help energize and refuel so you can do it again tomorrow. And unlike many other energy drinks, Fit Aid Energy maximizes your athletic performance by focusing on both training and recovery, which I am all for as a trainer myself. So go grab one of the amazing Fit Aid Energy flavors and you can save 40% off plus free shipping on your first order of 24 cans of Fit Aid Energy, just go to drinkfitaid.com slash habit hack. All right, friends, let's get back to the show. So let's talk about seven ways to save money on your workouts. Number one, exercise at home. 
exercise at home. You know, you can avoid costly gym memberships by just working out at home. You can find a lot of free workout videos online, get some affordable exercise equipment off Amazon or like Facebook Marketplace, like resistance bands, dumbbells, and do some pretty basic workouts, right? That's easy. Number two, outdoor activities. So take advantage of the outdoors when it's nice out. And it doesn't require expensive equipment. You can go for a walk. You can ride your bike. You can jog. You can cycle. You can run. All these are great for your cardiovascular health and can be done like in a park, in your neighborhood, all different types of places. Number three, group workouts. So jo consider joining a community or group workout program. So many communities offer like a low cost fitness classes like in parks. I know my local um, parks department, I think they do like a group fitness thing. They have a community center. You can also, you know, if you're looking into personal training, you can get a more affordable pricing if you do it in a small group setting. So get a few friends together and utilize that. Number four, utilize free trials and promotions. So take advantage of free trials. Like I know at Orange Theory, your first class is free. A lot of boutique fitnesses are like that. It'll give you like a one week free trial and give you an opportunity to really like date around, if you will, and explore different fitness options before committing long term, right? So and also just always keep an eye out, especially at the beginning of the new year. You know how it is. A lot of gyms will do promotions or discounts on classes or memberships. Number five, do-it-yourself workout routine. So design your own workout using just basic body weight exercises. So always consult a doctor before trying your own workouts, but some pretty basic exercises you can do safely with pretty basic form that most folks know are like push-ups or squats, planks, burpees. Everyone who's taken a live class with me know I love burpees. Yes, I actually said I love burpees. <laughs> But you could combine those exercises, you know, doing some body weight exercises, increasing your strength, and do some cardiovascular activities like running, jumping rope, or whatnot, or of course, incorporating active recovery too, like walking or yoga. Number five, borrow or swap equipment. I love this so much. If you need specialized equipment for certain workouts, maybe try borrowing it from a family member or a friend, organize an equipment swap with, swap with your friends. This way you can get access to the necessary equipment without spending a lot of money. I used to do, um, well, I guess this kind of goes into extra, uh, number seven, use workout apps and online resources. So years ago, I used to do beach body workouts and I would go over to my girlfriend's house first thing in the morning. She had a really big garage, really super clean and tidy. And a lot of times we'd bring our equipment, but a lot of times we didn't have, if someone didn't have equipment, everyone would bring something that one of, one of us could borrow or my girlfriend had a lot of different varying equipment there in her garage. And we just did the workouts together. We had that accountability, which was really great. We didn't, we all kind of chipped in and helped pay for that monthly membership. So that saved a lot of money and had a lot of time there um, back because we were able to not have to go um, to like a big gym. We were just kind of going down the road to a girlfriend's house. So utilize workout apps and online resources. Ladder is a really great workout app. I use that occasionally as well because I like to have people tell me what to do <laughs> for my workouts. I, I want to take a break and not do it myself. And it can really help you stay motivated and just guide your workouts without the need for like an expensive gym membership. So those seven habit hacks I help, help help you put into perspective, like, yes, I can still make movement work. It doesn't have to be big, complicated, or expensive, right? Saving money while working out is about being just being resourceful and making smart choices for what works for you. Because if, you, if it's a barrier, if it's challenging, if it feels like a stretch and uncomfortable to pay for a gym membership, you're gonna end up canceling it or you're gonna end up being super frustrated because you're paying and not going because maybe there's a barrier to actually physically getting there. So incorporating these strategies though will help you Really stay fit, keep moving without breaking the bank. Breaking the bank, right. <laughs> so friends, as speaking of free workouts, I have a free workout freebie. <laughs> I actually just updated it with a couple of more robust workouts. It's a Tabata legs, Tabata core, and Tabata full body. You'll just need light, medium, or heavy weights. I provide modifications for everybody. 
but it's three 20 to 30 minute workouts that I am guiding you through as a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor. If you're looking for something to do online at home on your own, you can go to bit.ly slash at home workout freebie or go hit the freebies link in the show notes. Okay. So Thinking about our movement, when we are habit hacking things, we can't just be like, okay, I want to work out. We have to think of all the barriers holding us back. And I know cost is a big one right now. So I hope these tips help you to make movement a non-negotiable priority in your life. Because my friend, not only will you win physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but everyone else around you will win as well because you're taking care of yourself and showing up as the best version of you. Love today's habit hack. Let me know. Comment on Instagram at emilynichols22 or leave a review for the show. All right, friends, I will see you next week. Hey girl, real quick before you go, did you know I have a secret podcast where I talk all about why most habit strategies don't work for us women? Spoiler alert, it's not our fault. (laughs) Visit bit.ly slash atomic habits for women. It's linked in the show notes to access my secret podcast series and have your biggest aha moment about why and how women have to do habits differently. And if you love the podcast, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way more mamas can find the show. Love and appreciate you, friend. We'll see you next time.